Uh, okay. Let's let's go into the negatives. Uh, this was the worst match. This was the worst match on the entire show. Yep, unfortunately. I don't care if it's his last match. I don't. I don't care if it's a feel-good moment. I knew this match was going to be okay at best. And guess what? It didn't even reach that. No. It was a meh. This was... Sting is literally a legend. And yeah. this was his last match. A spot fest with legitimately three monkeys. Yeah. I mean, we all know that Matt and Nick Jackson are king of spots. <sighs> and Darby Allen is a human test all. It's like, here's the thing. It's like, well, who would you put with Sting to justify this retirement? I could probably, I can think of three guys. Give me like two seconds mm -hmm. and figure it out. Sting could work with Eddie Kingston. Mm -hmm. I think that would have been cool because I'm trying to think of wrestling styles to where Sting doesn't have to try a whole lot because he's old, but also doesn't have to take crazy ass spots because he's old, but then wrestling in a style that would be applicable mm -hmm. to when he debuted. Right. It's obviously not going to be Ric Flair. Ric Flair is older than him, and for God's sake, we don't need that. <laughs> right. So you just have to think of people that you... It, just, it, didn't, it didn't have that last match feel to me. It I, really I, didn't. I don't think that this is actually Sting's last match. That would be the most hilarious thing. Like, like you know, kind of like how Ric Flair had his, quote, last match. Right. So I, I, don't, I don't know if this is going to be Sting's last match. Um, I mean, if it is, a hell of a career and good on you. Right. But at the same time, I what just is, don't. I don't know. I mean, now now Darby Allen has nothing to do. Right. I, I think now he's going to be in a program of Jay White, and it's like, wow, you went from main eventing the last match of a legitimate wrestling legend around the world mm -hmm. to now playing around with Jay White. Yep. And it'll probably form a faction because Darby Allen cannot do anything on his own, apparently. It's bang, bang, scissors, gang, butt right. fuck or something like that. I don't know. Wrong. Wrong. No. Up. Oh, oops. Huh. My bad. There we go. Good so, uh, Kyle O'Reilly returned. I'm happy to see Kyle O'Reilly back. He, he looks like... Uh, he, looks, he looks like he came back he, from, like, meth. Yeah. That's what it looks like. It looks like he came back from a trailer park in uh, in West Virginia. Oh somewhere. my god! It's like, dude, I'm happy that you're back, but man, could you have done even a modem come of grooming? Right. Like brush he, he your. Looks, he looks scruffy as fuck. Brush your hair back, trim it up a little bit. You look like you need a nap. <laughs> right. He's in there wearing just the most gaunt t-shirt. He looked homeless. Yeah. He looks like a homeless dude. So, and also that whole exchange was really awkward. Yeah. It was, like, weirdly timed. Yeah. It was so strange. Yeah, it was. So, okay. <sighs> okay. Hang on. I did now, not like this. This match the, was a mess. The justification of this match is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. What a cockamamie, unbelievably dumb way to get people into this match for no reason. Right. Here's the thing. The only time when people lost their minds was where the three meatheads were colliding into each other like a bunch of neutron stars. Right. You should have kept the four-way. You had four people who would have been okay in this. Right. I don't give a shit if Keith Lee or Miro weren't there for one reason or a fucking other. You had Powerhouse Hobbs, Lance Archer, Wardlow, Brian Cage. That's all you needed. Right. You did not need Hook. He's, he's dead in the water. Right. You didn't need... Fat Jericho, Fat Jericho, like at all, right? <laughs> or the other, or the other two dweebs who I don't even remember. I right. didn't need that. You didn't need that. No, so, it was it was just a mess. It was a mess of a match. Yep. Uh, Hangman Page once again continues to be a totally useless person here. They didn't want to beat Swerve, but the problem is, what the fuck are you waiting for? Right. It should have been Swerve Joe one on one for the title. You yep. could have done some cockamamie shit. With Hangman, and it would have worked, right? You have them have them an outside interference, right? Knock them out. Are, are are they afraid of putting the title on someone who is I don't know black, right? <laughs> or, or or they don't or they don't want to beat Swerve because they don't want the implication that they are racist. This is why you don't listen to us, right? 
you look at what we're doing. Are people going to the fucking show to see Swerve fucking Strickland? No. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Exactly. That's the problem. I like Swerve. He is a great talent. Yeah. He has a great character, but they did not capitalize on the dance early enough. And now we have this situation where you put the title on him. What is that going to do? You take the, you have him lose. Ow. Sorry. My bad. You have him lose. And then people are going to consider you racist because you beat a black dude. Right. I got really, really into that, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> you probably should calm down a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want this company to succeed. I watched literally from day one. We went to the first show, mm -hmm. Double or Nothing 20 fucking 19. So I'm, I'm a little impassioned about these fucking morons doing dumb, stupid shit. It's so, it's so frustrating <sighs> seeing all this talent being squandered. Yep. And that was it. So, okay, so when we come back, we got a match we're watching. Yes, but I need a breather. <laughs>